Hello students of class 9 I am Prahlad sir I will teach you English language you now your topic is sentences first of all I want to define here what the sentence a sentence is a group of words which makes which makes complete sense sentence kya hai group of words hai kai group of words se milkar jo sentence bante hain aur which gives us complete sense meaningful jo sense de, that is known as sentence for example the plane was hijacked full stop it's a complete sense you will find a complete sense right second who wrote on the wall it's question mark the third one is what a wonderful performance exclamation mark now let's let's compare sentence with the uh, with the phrase sentence ko phrase se compare karte hain what is the difference between a sentence and a phrase here a phrase is a group of words which makes some sense not complete right phrase is also a group of words ye bhi group of words hai which give us sense but not complete for example on the table in the class right now let's sentences are of four kinds how many types of sentences sentences are of four kinds the first of all assertive sentences assertive sentences which are uh, what are assertive sentences sentences which make statements or assertions those sentences jo statements dete hain ya assertions dete hain known as assertive sentences for example she sings a song full stop she sings a song this is an assertion that's why this is a uh, assertive sentence assertive sentences are of two kinds assertive sentences are of two kinds first affirmative which is also known as positive and uh, second negative right now for the here with the help of example you can understand affirmative sentences right here every man makes mistakes this is a affirmative sentence there is a, and uh, there is no man who does not make mistakes right in the negative sentence you will find you will always find negation that is uh, i mean to say that uh, no not does not do not this is the negative sentences right now the second is interrogative sentences what interrogative sentences sentences which ask questions sentence questions put up karte hain known as interrogative sentences for example what do you want this is a question mark is a interrogative sentence now the third imperative sentences imperative sentences sentences which express request command or entreats is known as imperative sentences in the imperative sentences subject will be hidden clear jitne bhi imperative sentence hote hain sabke subject hidden hote hain aur uh, mostly inka subject you jo second person hai wahi mana jata hai for example don't touch anyone here the example is given to you don't touch anyone here subject is hidden now number 4 exclamatory sentences what is the exclamatory sentences sentences which express strong or sudden feelings the sentence express karta hai strong or sudden feeling known as exclamatory sentences note here every exclamatory word or sentence ends with an exclamation mark har exclamatory sentence jo end hota hai wo exclamation mark se khatam hota hai so line kheech ke niche dot hoti hai for example how beautiful the rain is this is exclamatory sentence yes now let's classification of sentences here yeah. sentences can be classified into three classes on the basis of their structure right on the basis of structure structure ke base pe sentence ko three three classes mein classified kiya gaya hai these types are कौन कौन से टाइप्स हैं फर्स्ट सिंपल सेंटेंस कंपाउंड सेंटेंस 
and the third is complex sentence first of all we will discuss or we will define simple sentence here the first is simple sentence a simple sentence is one which has only one subject and one predicate and it has one finite verb simple sentence hai kya simple sentence mein you will find only one subject one predicate and one finite verb right for example a nightingale sings beautifully here subject is a nightingale right one subject and uh, how the uh, and uh, your predicate is sings beautifully sings is your one finite verb right now compound sentence a sentence compound sentence a compound sentence is one made up of two or more coordinate clauses compound sentence hai ki compound sentence wo hai ki made up of two or more coordinate clauses jo coordinate clauses se jo bante hain that is compound sentence and uh, how here you will find a example with the help of example uh, uh, here is a, he is rich yet he is not happy right here he is rich yet he is not happy yet is a coordinating conjunction with the help of coordinating conjunction these compound sentences can be made here these two parts of sentence sentence are joined by the coordinating conjunction yet each part has a subject and predicate of its own har part mein apna ek subject aur ek apna predicate apna khud ka hota hai aur kaise here he is rich to so, yahan pe he jo hai subject hai rich is rich predicate hai second mein he is not happy he is subject hai is not happy predicate right so after that here each part is therefore a sentence in therefore a sentence or in other words that we call a clause har part ek apne aap mein khud mein ek sentence hai itself a sentence hai for example example is clear he is rich a complete sentence hai he is not happy ye bhi complete sentence hai right each clause is dependent of other as each makes complete sense by itself हर क्लॉज एक दूसरे पे डिपेंडेंट होता है और दोनों की कंप्लीट सेंस होते बाई इट सेल्फ जैसा अभी मैंने बताया था अपने अपने सेंस कंप्लीट होते हैं देर आर देर फोर कॉल्ड कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉजेस और प्रिंसिपल और मेन क्लॉज दैट्स वाई इनको क्या कहते हैं वो कहते हैं कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉजेस या फिर प्रिंसिपल या फिर मेन क्लॉज नाउ लेट्स हेयर द थर्ड इज कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस वट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस हेयर a complex sentence has one main clause and one or more subordinate clause complex sentence hota hai jisme ek one main clause hoti and one or more than one subordinate clauses bhi hoti for example he uh, he was so tired that he could not stand right he was so tired here the main clause kya hai he was so tired makes good sense good sense by itself apne aap mein khud sense deta hai that's why it's there for the main or principal clause ye main clause hai kyunki jo khud clear sense de raha hai aur other jo subordinate hai wo main clause pe dependent hai so here the clause that he could not stand cannot stand by itself ye apne aap se pura sense nahi de sakta kyunki main clause pe depend hai right it is dependent on the first clause it is therefore called the subordinate clause isliye isko subordinate kehte hain that he uh, that he could not stand ye subordinate clause hai kyun kyunki ye first matlab principal clause matlab main clause pe fully depend main clause aapka kaun sa hai isme he was so tired is pe depend hai second sentence clear okay students as i think it's clear to all of you and we will we will meet in another video and discuss also another topic okay let's